Can you stand up on your feet? Let me start like you came with a pain in your body and you are trusting God for a healing. You came with a growth in your body, a growth, a breast pain, growth, a goiter or something that is swollen in your body. And you want the swelling to be dissolved. You want God to now. So we are dealing with pains and dealing with growths. Yes, you can stand up on your feet. Place your hand where the pain and the and, and, and the affliction is or the growth is. Place the, the paper on the ground while you expect. The rest of us stretch your hands in this direction as we agree. Father, I take authority over every demon behind these pains. Every demon of pain of cancer, pain of arthritis, pain of cervical spondylosis, and every trace of pain, witchcraft pain, demonic movements in the body. And I take authority over every form of cancer every form of tumor leukemia your tenure expires your your, your your yoke is broken today lose your grip of these people at the count of three you must go in the name of jesus one two and three somebody shout go shout it louder go shout it loudest go From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, the pain is gone. The growth is dissolved. You are healed, you are well, and you are whole. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a loud shout of praise. All of you, I just prayed for check yourself quickly. Check yourself. You couldn't move that shoulder, move it. Check that growth, check that tumor. That's right. Check the waist, check the legs, and check everything. How many of you confirm your healing? Stand up on your feet. Let's know what happened to you. While you come, come with your Bibles or bags, except somebody is watching it for you. Quickly, give the Lord a shout of victory as they come forward. Right on my left hand side here. On this side, this side, this side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'll go to the second one immediately. You came in here with a deafness and dumbness condition. Actually, we have a testimony from Dunamis Just Central. Nine-year-old boy, born deaf and dumb, never heard or spoken. His ears open just now and he's speaking perfectly. Dunamis Just Central. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Testimonies from other locations, let us know. I will I will alert the church. So you are here, you cannot see, you cannot hear or speak. You can place your hand on your ears, place your hand on your top. Don't be afraid, we'll not take all the testimonies. Oh, that's Benin Republic right there. Kotonu in Benin Republic. The Lord bless all of you in Benin Republic in Jesus' precious name. Right now, I take authority over the spirit of blindness. The spirit of deafness. Now, if you cannot see, you stand up on your feet. Place your hand on your eyes. One eye or two eyes. You cannot hear. Place your hand on your ears. One ear or two ears. I take authority over the spirit of deafness and dumbness. Your yoke is broken. Now, in the name of Jesus, I command the deaf ears to open right now. I command the blind eyes to see. Glaucoma. Retinal detachment, cataract, astigmatism, everything that is a cause of, of blindness, witchcraft blindness, occultic blindness, generational inherited blindness, your yoke is broken. I command the eye see clear in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. All those who couldn't see before remain standing. You couldn't see before if your eye wasn't seen. The two eyes, you just see what I'm doing now and do as I am doing. And if it is just one eye, close the good eye so you can begin to see with the bad eye. And if you are able to see like that, quickly step forward and let's see what God has done for you. Quickly step forward. Let's see what God has done for you. If your ear is hearing, you can also step forward. If one ear was deaf, close the good ear and you realize you are hearing me right now. Quickly come forward and let's see you right in front here. And in Bielsa State, I declare the hand of the Lord moving in that place and the yoke of the enemy broken. 
in a quiet bomb state, the yoke is broken in Jesus' name. You couldn't see, you couldn't hear. Step forward. Again, don't don't move. We we, we, we covenanted to be here for five hours, and five hours is remaining a few more minutes. Say a loud amen. Somebody say a loud amen. Now I take authority over the spirit of epilepsy, the spirit of insanity, and every form of paralysis. You came in here, you cannot walk, or you came with a crutch or a walking stick. Stand up on your feet and lift it up. Lift your crutch. Lift your walking stick. You came with a walking frame, you can take it up as well. Anyone like that in this main sanctuary? Please let all movement be restricted until the end of the service now. I shall ensure that. Now in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every crippling condition. Over every demon of paralysis. Your tenure expired. Lose your grip of these legs. Lose your grip of these bodies. In the name of Jesus. If they carry somebody here and they couldn't walk at all, lay your hands on the person. I declare the yoke is broken. I declare broken bones mended. I declare paralyzed hands receive life and strength. I declare weakness is gone. Pain is gone. Strength is released. Short legs grow out. Short hands grow out. Now in the name of Jesus. You are healed. Take the leg up and move it like I am doing right now. In the name of Jesus. Do it like I am doing right now. Yes. One. Two. All right, she's already walking forward or almost running forward. Quickly give the Lord a praise. So if you are able to walk like that, give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord. Walk forward with your crotch lifted. With your crotch lifted. With your crotch lifted. With your crotch or your stick lifted. Let us step up here. Right. Mahashata Kalabaya. You came with any other form of affliction. I take authority over blood condition. HIV, hepatitis, sickle cell disease, kidney disease, liver disease, heart disease, lung disease. Your yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. God is healing female gynecological system problems. Right now, flow of breast milk where you are not breastfeeding. Menstrual flow that is flowing ceaselessly. And every other form of cause of barrenness today the yoke is broken in the name of jesus that woman is walking out there give the lord a big clap and a shout of praise that man with impotence the lord is healing you right now somebody came in here impotent the power of god has touched you and your potency just returned in the course of the service if you are not shy i like you to rush forward here and let that potency be confirmed somebody's ulcer just disappeared asthma just got healed take a deep breath in and you realize that the chest is free give the lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise somebody celebrate the king of kings and the lord of laws dynamis canoe overflow give the lord a big clap and a shout of praise celebrate the king of kings celebrate the lord of laws celebrate the i am that i am father we give you the praise father we give you the honor father we give you the adoration thank you master yes what happened she was in the fractured her right femoral femoral bone and had been on this since then until this word came and then she attempted and realized that she could do without the crutches wow she's in tears how did you walk when you came <laughs> like this. that was how you came yes sir wow bring the crutch now <laughs> congratulations show the devil how you can walk now just take it easy okay i saw that you wanted to run but just take it easy Somebody give the Lord a praise. Are you just sitting and looking? You Return back, daughter. God. Celebrate. Yes, say no one like you. Are you just looking? You are a living God. Yes, say no one. Celebrate the King of Kings. Oh, yes. 
Take your seat, take your seat, ushers. Do your work, or is it you yourself that is that are moving? Take your seat. Yes, tell us what happened. What's happening? Said she had an accident in 2008 that affected her spinal cord. In fact, she was on wheelchair for about three years. Yes. But she said she couldn't walk, couldn't stand for any significant time without this walker. While you declare the world, she attempted doing things she couldn't do before and realized that she could do them. Go ahead. How did you walk with this when you came? I remember. Several on wheelchair. Now, now if I'm, sometimes if I say I will see myself just, the leg will just be folding. All right. Folding and what has happened now? I come to this place now. Was able All right. To come out but how, were you, how did you walk with this one when you came today? Your leg will be shaking. All right. Bring it and move now. We go to hell. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Give him the praise. Return, return about. This is Mama Patricia. She came all the way from Benway State. She said six months ago, she fell on tiles and broke her right leg. And she has been working with the aid of that cane. But while the ministration was on, she felt a touch and told the daughter-in-law, I cannot walk freely. The pain is gone. And now she can how walk she, how without you, that cane. She used to walk with this. As we pray, certain the tree has gone. That's right. The thing just left. Four. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Somebody give the Lord a big clap of hand. Listen to me. Everything that is paralyzed in your life is rising up and walking right now. Get your 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 expectation very close, but we're about to pray. Yes, what happened? That two weeks ago, our brother said his left hand got locked on the on the elbow area here. He came in with very excruciating pains, and it's been unlocked. The pain is the pain is gone. The hand is unlocked. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. What happened? What happened to her? She was diagnosed of malaria and also high typhoid, but she felt like she ate a poison and she had been, she was brought here in the vegetative state. We have been looking for the sister to explain to us, but right now she was using this stick to walk, but right now she can stand on her own and you, 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 you saw how she came, how she came. If the sister is close by, you can come. This is beyond malaria and typhoid. Lift up your hands. She, she says she ate poison. Yes. She ate poison. Patient, at the way, if you are close, can you come back? Lift your hands. Father, thank you because it is over. Power! Return back to sender. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you. This is satanic paralytic condition. It's beyond. It is over. In Jesus' precious name. Yes, let's go. 
Give me five more at the most. Mr. It is Kate. over. Yes, yes, it's over. Yes. Sister Kate. Sister Kate says she was diagnosed with cyst in the liver. And what happened now? The pain is gone as we are making declarations, sir. Power of the Holy Ghost. Liver cyst over. Yes, come with your stick lifted. Lift it up. Lift it up. I was pushed here with a wheelchair. You were pushed here with a wheelchair. As at that day, about four weeks ago, then later there was a lot of improvement. But I was still supporting with uh, this thing. Until you came but here today. After your declaration, the man of God declared now, I feel very, very okay. Walk on, walk on, walk on. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Anna this was Mabu. somebody who was brought here four weeks ago on a wheelchair, healed right now. She's trying to do the things she couldn't do before. Power be released. Yes. So sister Helen, she was diagnosed with multiple fibroid. And since September, she has been bleeding. And the hospital placed her on medication to stop the bleeding. It couldn't stop. But right in this service, that fountain of blood has dried up. Somebody give the Lord a big clap. Everything that is flowing in your life that is not of God is arrested now in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 child. Sir, Sister Catherine Oguche was diagnosed of girl's tomb in Guagula Teaching Hospital, was slated for surgery next week. She said, let her come for these five hours in his presence. And in the course of the administration, sir, you said that growths are being dissolved. Say so she pressed on the part that was the growth where the growth was. Somebody give the Lord a big clap. She couldn't her. find it. It again. is over. So sister Helen, four years ago, was diagnosed as having arthritis in the right leg. The same arthritis had killed her grandmother her aunt and virtually everybody in the family suffers from arthritis. As the world went forth right now, the pain disappeared. She could do those things she couldn't do before. She's doing those things she couldn't do before. Yes, sir. I wonder where the, the mix and person is saying. I prophesy to somebody here, every, every ancestral curse, generational curse, affecting others in your life is arrested forever, forever. In Jesus' precious name. Sir, both of them had pains. This one on her palm and the sole of her feet as a result of a demonic encounter. She says somebody flogged her in the dream and then those pains surfaced. And now they are over. For her is over. Her had a, a, somebody hit her on the chest and then that pain started three months ago. Just now, the pain left back to Give her. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Father, we thank you. What happened to you? So my bone shifted to oh. the new cap. And you came here with this? Yes, sir. Show us how you walked when you came. Walking with, she was holding me. She was holding you on one side yes. while you, while you walked with this. All your weight was on this. Yes, sir. And just now, you can yes. walk without it. Yes, sir. Come. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Lift up your hands. Father, let it be perfected of the Holy Ghost. Let it be perfected in the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a shout of victory. This sister gift, she came into the service with pains all over her body. According to her, for four years she could not turn the neck. Her neck was locked. And the heat of the ministration, she said, an old man ran out an of her. Old man ran and out right of now her. the neck Somebody is free. Power! power. Say after me, say every stranger in my life, you are leaving me now on your mask. On your mask. Get set. Shout go. She has been married for three years. And she said immediately after her wedding, this terrible waist pain came on her. And she said each time the pain comes, she will have miscarriage. She said the heat of the ministration at the shout of I receive, the power of God landed on her. Now, yesterday, she said she got open her eyes. She saw this fat man, the man very hefty, asking her to suck the sores on his right thigh. 
She said, why are you asking me to suck such? And in the heat of that ministration, that same fat, ugly looking man ran out of her. Hey! The waste is free. How many of you want every ugly devil to run out of your life? Now stand on your feet with your expectation. Stand on it with the expectation lifted. Lift it up and say, in the name of Jesus, every stranger around my life, attached to my life, connected to my life, today is your end. Oh, you stranger, in the name of Jesus, on your mask, get set, shout, go. And now go and bring forth your children. Go and bring forth. Lift up the expectation. Lift it high. Lift it high. Yes. Sir, this is just wave it, wave it, wave it. This is Bruce Samuel. He said, like two months ago, he had a crack on the spine, and since then, he has not been able to turn the neck. But right now, at the declaration of the word, he said he can move the neck up, down, and side, and the pain have gone. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Wave that expectation and say, Father, I decree that whatever is not working was not working in my life begins to walk now whatever was not working in my life begins to walk now begins to walk now begins to walk now give the lord a shout of praise take your seat still one minute one minute so this is sister asha nelda she said she had old... no movement no movement hold on don't do yourself that disservice until you receive your final release we have 20 minutes more. Yes. Osteoarthritis for the past 10 years. She said the Lord revealed to her in a dream concerning this program. Five hours in his presence. God revealed to her revealed in the dream. To, her to be in the service. To be in the service. And she came. The son also in DCA confirmed about this service. And she's come. She said why the heated declaration was going on. That pain took off. She can now bend. She can now kneel down. Do the things you couldn't do before, man. Couldn't kneel down, couldn't bend. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. Come forward here. In the name of Jesus, you are free. Amen. Yes, tell us. Yes, sir. Mama here came all the way from Otoko. Said this is her first time in the glory dome. I no, 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 no. Not the first time. Maybe uh, you didn't hear what she said. Mama has been here before. I know her. <laughs> so what happened? What brought her was the arthritis on yes. the knee for three years. She said she couldn't walk. Not to talk of standing. Wow. Excruciating pain. Couldn't bend that knee. But in the heat of that administration and declaration, power of God surged into her. Right now, Mama is walking freely and the knees are free. Okay, okay. Lift up your hands. <laughs> it is over. She's whispering to me. Say, I didn't tell them all the things. So. <laughs> <laughs> in the name that is above every name jesus christ the resurrected lord everything that is afflicting your body thank you lord for the healing right now but the balance of the affliction is over forever in the name of jesus can i have just one more and then we are true okay fast yes Wave your expectation and say, it's today is my day. Say it louder, say, today is my day. Yes, go ahead. Yes. So Samala here came right from the hospital. Samala. Yeah, diagnosed with liver cancer. With excruciating pain. He said as soon as he was told that, a brass packed him and brought him to church today. He said, while you were declaring, he felt power surge into him. That if he had strength came upon him, he said, I can walk now. I can stand now. He walked right from the back where they were to this place. Wow. And if, Every life-threatening condition in your life expires today. Every life-threatening condition in your life expires today. Father, let this death leave Samila alone. Go! Life, life is released upon Samila in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap of hands. Somebody say, I shall fulfill my day. Yes. It's an amazing wonder here, sir. Sister Evelyn in August this year had a lump on her right breast, which a biopsy was done, an operation actually was done, and it was this 
discovered to be cancer on that breast. After that operation, the lump resurfaced again. She came into the service with pain and the fear of that cancer. So while the ministration was on, the power of God surged through her. The pain gone, the lumps gone. She is whole now. Everything disappeared said, just like, Pastor. are you just looking like God? In the name that is above every name, everything that followed you here, that is not of God, dies and returns back to hell. To hell. So, yes, this is brother Ab Abdullah Isani is from the other religion. He told me he came in with splenomegaly and bilateral polycystic kidney disease oh. that has lasted for 11 years, sir. Yes, sir. He told me that that was what pushed him here to church, and even then, though he belongs to another religion, yes, sir. That was what brought him. Today, he told me he can't find the pains again. I told him to check very well. He has kept checking. He can't find anything. He can't find the chain. Every, every, again. every cargo that followed you here, every luggage that followed you here, today is the expiry date of that luggage. Lift your hands. The expiry date. Bow! Give us a song of celebration. Let everybody dance. You are the God who can never fail. When I don't know what to do And I look up to you For which way to go You say You never fail When I don't know what to do And I look up to you For which way to go You never fail Yes, you are Shout of praise. 15 minutes to go. Don't shift until the final word is declared. Wave your paper, take your seat one minute. Yes, what happened? This is Ajia Miriam. She was invited by our brother from the other religion. Ajia Miriam. Yes. She had breast cancer, who, which gave her pains on the neck down to the back. She couldn't walk. They carried, he carried her into the service today. Ajia Miriam. And then the very moment you were praying, strength surged into her system and then she stood up and then he brought her here she has been standing over there with strength and she could stand for that for a long Dr. time Dr. Mr. come forward eight months uh, for the past eight months I can't stand up my spinal cord down um, I can't rest I can't turn and even now, my neck can't turn this morning even she can't turn the voice they don't even come out. They have to put me inside car, bring me here. The good Lord, the, the good Lord, and is doing. But they brought me in here. My brother came to Kaduna and my daughter. For the past eight months, I don't eat well. I always vomit. I throw saliva. I can't turn this way. I can't turn this way. And what happened my now? My neck. That is why I'm here. I have never stood to walk. On never my stood own. to walk on your own. For the past eight and has months. not spoken for the past. Now walk on. Let the devil see you. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Ay, 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 ay. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Everything the devil say you cannot do before now, 
You shall do. Power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus' precious name, the yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. Power of the Holy Ghost. Yoke is broken. You are free. Alright, in the name of Jesus, you are free. What affected your brother cannot affect you. Power! Behold, in Jesus' name. One more you say. Sir, you gave a word that God was healing people of deafness. Brother Chinedu is 18 years old and from birth, he had been unable to hear with the left ear. He came into the service with a condition. While the word came, the ear popped open. He began to hear. He rushed forward. I met him. I tested him. The ear is hearing perfectly, sir. Perfectly. Wow. This ear. This one. Close this one. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I'm you. I can hear. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Lord. Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise. Lift up your expectations now. Lift it, lift them up. Lift your hands, lift your hands. For how long was she blind? For how long? You just got married to, into the family and you brought her. And she came all the way from Lafia. From Lafia. And, 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 and what cost it? Diabetes cost it. Diabetes for, has, has been there for how long? Diabetes. I don't know how the, the years. How many, you don't the, know the years. All right. The, the diabetes just cost it. Cost the blindness. And this blindness is six months. Follow it again still. Yes. Somebody give the Lord yes. the praise. Lift your hands. Even the diabetes, go now. In Jesus' name. We have so many testimonies. I, I don't know what we can do now. Stand up on your feet with your expectation. Wave it with celebration. Just one minute. One minute. One minute. Don't move until the final word is declared. See, there is a reason why I'm saying this. There are people who are fond of, okay, let's receive the final word. Then they start walking out and don't hear what he said. Until we say, the Lord bless you, proceed. Don't shift an inch. Lift up that expectation right now. And dance the way you will dance when God has done it for you. Celebrate, let's go. Yes, yes,
in your hand and they are about to be some very brutal declarations I'll still want some people alright at the back of the mic offering thank you stretch your two hands in front of you they are receiving one more thing apart from offering stretch forth your hands I prophesy upon your hands I decree that harvest will look for you from the north the south the east and the west Systems are put under pressure. They shall lose their sleep and peace and rest until all that is yours enters your hands. I call it dawn in Jesus' name. Give the Lord the praise. Take your seat one minute. Pick up your offerings as pledges before this final brutal declaration. lifted never drop to bed in Jesus name have you dropped your offerings have you dropped your offerings all right please pass it on very quickly as the celebration goes on again please hear that final word before you leave Calling, 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 calling,
Stand up on your feet now with the expectations. Lift it higher. I want some of our people on the back of the mic. Because we are going to make some brutal declarations that will be forced by intercession. Lift it higher. While you are watching for that, please note that there is a new gate created for pedestrians. Challenge we had last week was that the people walking flooded the whole road on both sides. So even vehicular movement was congested inside. So please pass through the pedestrian road and just keep by the side of the pedestrian walkway so that the roads can be free for vehicular movement. Secondly, if you are going to take taxi to town, you don't need to cross the road. There are vehicles coming, buses and taxis arrangements made already. They will pick you on this side of the road and go and turn with you and go to town. Give the Lord the praise. So you just wait on this side. Because going there also blocks the other side. And then vehicles coming are un unable to move. You don't need to cross the express to look for a taxi or a bus. People going to Guagualaga, please, you don't need to go through this main gate. You can go through the school gate here. There are two gates there. And, and just drive straight. There is an, a road straight at the back there that will lead you to join the main way. I, I, we were meant to grade it. I'm, I hope it has been graded. It's, it's, it's graded already so that it can be a straight road all the way there. The Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Those going back towards the city gate area, please follow the main gate and then just turn at, at the designated place. Don't turn before so that we don't create congestion on the highway. We don't want any unnecessary attention, okay, either from government or from anywhere. That service here is causing problem on the road here. Please don't contribute to that. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. If you came by the church bus, identify the bus that you came with and they are going to take you safely. The convention, like I say, started. The full morning session commences on Tuesday morning, 7.30 a.m. is commencement. So the healing and deliverance service this week is going to start a bit earlier than usual for the sake of the convention and every morning six to seven early will icq 30 minutes break then 7 30 morning sessions all the way till 11 and then we'll have a little break and have a little one and a half hours afternoon session and then proceed into the, go and then come back for the 5 p.m evening session the lord bless you bishop Yedeko, papa coming on tuesday ensure you are there all the way from monday and all locations bus arrangements is for both morning and evening especially evening sessions not just sunday Sunday, we are coming in our uniform for a grand Thanksgiving by 7 a.m. Say it loud, amen. Lift your expectations high. We have a um, facility for, I, I, I discovered that last Sunday, parents, many parents were around, hanging around, even after church had closed. So we had expanded a little bit the, 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 the um, garden, one and two, with children, things, play things. And all those kind of bouncing castle and so on so if you want you can take a look at there there was meant to be a drone shot to show such a thing right there but you can take a look at that place and the lord bless you now lift up your expectations lift it higher before i make these declarations it is going to be very profitable for everyone who is already born again and has given their lives to jesus lift it higher everywhere you are you are in need, you know, if the trumpet sounds, you are not able to make heaven. You know that your life is not in order with God. You have seen miracles, signs, and wonders today. And you are saying, Pastor, I want to be saved. I want to be born again. Anywhere you are, pray this prayer with me and mean it and say, Lord Jesus, louder, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Louder, I am a sinner. Come into my life. Louder, make me a new person. Today, I have decided to follow you. No turning back. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Those who pray that prayer, wave your hand. Let me see you. You prayed the prayer and you meant it. All of us remain standing. All those who pray the prayer at all levels, I'll give you the count of 15. Run to the front quickly before I make the declaration on the rest of us. Wave your hands. Keep waving as they come. I'll give you the count of 15. One. Don't be the last to come. Be the first to come. Rush quickly to the front, too. Lord, I give you my heart. Give 
from the galleries from the overflows three don't be the last to come four five keep on six keep coming keep coming from the overflows from the galleries from everywhere you are seven It is done. Lift up your expectations now, everybody. Counselors will attend to the people. If you need to rededicate your life to Jesus, join us forward as well. You need to be genuinely born again. Join us as well. Lift your expectations. When you hear a declaration that you believe is yours, you receive it with the loudest amen you can muster. Right now, I take authority over every form of spiritual relationship. Every demonic witchcraft attack. Every spider web monitoring demon. Every spirit of impersonation. Every spirit of witchcraft manipulations. Every blood covenants and agreements working against your life. Every satanic evil garment on your body. Every spirit of delay and stagnation, your tenure expires forever in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray against them right now. Pray, pray, pray. Let it is a Rita Casara da Gala. Let it separate a seed at all. Let it see Trady by the dial. In the name of Jesus, lift it high up. I see keys dropping. The spell of near success syndrome is broken. Failure at the edge of breakthrough is broken. The garment of poverty and wretchedness is set on fire. Every spell of begging and borrowing is broken. Open your mouth and say, Father, I receive total breakthrough in life. Now, open your mouth and pray. Let 
In Jesus' precious name, lift up that expectation now. There is overflow everywhere. I saw overflow in Lagos now. Kano everywhere. I prophesy to you. Everything around you shall begin to overflow. Resources overflow. Financial overflow. Destiny overflow. Career overflow. Shout the loudest. Amen. What is in your hand now? As an expectation. Is turning into your manifestation. Lift your hands now. Look at this brutal one and I want you to force it into establishment. As I see everybody from all over the country and beyond, even people that are not, who are not members of this church are on, online now. My heart is moved and I say, anyone again that is a pharaoh over your life. Every agent of captivity Every agent of, of poverty, every agent of suffering, every agent of struggling in your life, today they expire. Lift your voice and say after me, say, Father, I decree, we decree against every agent of suffering, every agent of death, every agent of destruction, every agent of destruction. Regarding, my life, regarding my life my family, my family. The, body of christ, the body of christ the church in nigeria dunamis church, church and the nation, and the nation of nigeria everyone, everyone respo responsible, responsible for bloodshed for, blood for suffering for, suffering, for captivity for, for imprisonment for in the name of jesus Open your mouth and pray. Pharaoh die. Die. Maya, ya, 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 ya. Shito radaga ya da da da. Let us set ya la 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 la. Jara ta 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 ta. Shika la ya 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 da ya da da. Zeta la ya da ya la la la. Shiko radaga la 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 la. In the name of Jesus, lift it higher. Fight that fight. Okay, one, more, two more. Just this one, and then the last one. This is Adeshida has been battling with an affliction. I don't know, Mrs. Ledia Umar. In the course of the ministration, her eyes opened and she saw an altar where someone she knew took her name to. And the altar just caught fire. <laughs> lift your hands now and leave the expectation. Now, in this case, both the altar, the priest of the altar, and the person who took the name there, all of them shall catch fire. <laughs> lift your hands and say after me, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus every, altar every altar where they have taken my name, taken my name for, diabolism, for diabolism, where they have taken the church, Dunamis Church, the church in Nigeria, and the nation of Nigeria for diabolism. Every altar and every high priest of such altars and everyone responsible for taking the names there in the name of Jesus, receive your judgment. Catch fire. Die. Now, open your mouth and pray. Fire. Everywhere they have taken my name to. Taking our names. Shaka la 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 la. Zuko la 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 la. Zika la 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 la. Zika la 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 la. Zika la 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 la
in Jesus name now drop the paper in your bag or your pocket or something and then lift your hands let your two hands be free or when you catch adequate fire you become mobile danger when you catch adequate fire you become what danger in motion you want to die pass lift your hands and that fire shall